In most wallpapering jobs, you'll come across a corner that needs papering. And in many cases, you'll need to deal with an obstacle like a window recess or an electrical fitting. In this film, we're going to show you how it's done. If you need information on how to prepare walls for wallpapering and the basics of hanging wallpaper, then see the previous films in this series. Corners of rooms are rarely perfectly vertical, so it's not a good idea to attempt to paper around them. If your room is rectangular, you'll only have internal corners to deal with. But if you have an L-shaped room, or your room has an alcove or chimney breast, you'll have external corners too. We're going to show you how to wallpaper an internal corner. First, cut the wallpaper to length, making sure that you allow for any pattern alignment. A good way to do this is to hold the paper up against the sheet you need to align it to and make a fold so you know where to measure from. Then measure between the last whole sheet of fixed wallpaper and the corner of the room. Take measurements at the top, middle and bottom and note them down. Add 15 millimeters to the measurement at the widest point. Apply the adhesive and fold the paper. Then partially unfold the paper and mark it up with your measurements. You can now cut it to size. Hang the paper like before, but this time fold the excess width around the corner and use a paper hanging brush to push the paper right into the corner. If the wallpaper creases as you try to push it into the corner, make a small cut in the paper at the crease and then continue. When we put up the next length of paper, we need it to overlap the first length where it has turned the corner by about 15 millimeters. Use a plumb bob and a string line or a long spirit level to mark a vertical line on the adjacent wall. The distance that the vertical line needs to be from the corner will vary according to whether you're using a full width sheet of wallpaper or using the off cut from the sheet that you use to paper into the corner. We're using the off cut. Hang the off cut wallpaper the normal way and then gently peel back the wallpaper at the overlap and apply some border and overlap adhesive. Brush the wallpaper back into place. Wipe off any surplus adhesive and go over the overlap with a seam roller. And that's it, a finished internal corner. For external corners, you would simply continue to paper around the corner. With the right technique and sequence, it's not too difficult to wallpaper around a window recess. So let's see how it's done. First, hang the length of wallpaper that needs to go into the window recess. Then cut the paper horizontally at the top and bottom of the recess. And brush the paper into the recess. Trim the paper where it meets the window frame and window seal if required. For deep recesses, you may need to stick in an additional piece. Fix the next piece of paper above the recess. Turn it into the recess and again, trim it where it meets the window frame if required. This will leave you with a small area of missing paper in the corner. To fix this, take an off-cut piece of wallpaper that includes a 15 mm overlap to the front of the recess and the corner, and that has already been applied with adhesive. Fit it into position, making sure you match up any pattern. Where the overlap of wallpaper occurs, you will need to make this flush and smooth. To do this, use a snap-off blade knife to cut down the middle of the overlap 
and then peel off the excess paper. This will ensure you don't have any ridges appearing under your wallpaper. Then wipe off any excess and go over the overlap with a seam roller. If you need to neaten up any areas, now's the time to do so. So that's how to tackle a window recess. You can now continue to paper around the recess and add infill pieces where needed. You'll almost always come across a light switch or electric socket, and it's worth spending a bit of time fitting the paper neatly around them. So let's show you how it's done. First, turn off the electricity at the mains. Double check that the electricity is off by trying to turn on the light or by plugging an appliance into the socket. Hang your wallpaper as normal, brushing it lightly over the fitting to make a slight impression in the wallpaper. Be careful not to tear the wallpaper as you do this. Holding the paper over the fitting, draw lines from each corner of the fitting to the centre. Cut a small hole in the centre, then cut along the lines creating four triangular flaps. Then cut each triangular flap off, but leave about 6mm overlap around the edge of the fitting. Then loosen the screws holding the fitting in place so that the fitting can be eased off the wall by approximately 10 millimeters. Then use the paper hanging brush to push the wallpaper behind the fitting, making sure that no adhesive or water enters the wall box or gets onto the back of the fitting. Reposition the fitting and tighten the screws. That's the job done and you can now turn back on the electricity. When it comes to an object like a radiator, it's not always practical to drain it down and take it off the wall. So simply place a section of pasted wallpaper above the radiator and make cuts in the paper to fit down either side of the radiator brackets. Press down the paper and to achieve a smooth effect, press the wallpaper into place using a slim paint roller. And that's how straightforward it is to deal with corners and obstacles. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.